away.
quarantine reports. The plague has been completely eradicated, Shepard. I have also run searches for reports on Archangels. The various mercenary groups appear to believe that he is dead. Come on, let me in. This data pad was on one of the mercs that was after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? I I'll look into it. Thanks for the heads up, Shepard. Looks like I'll have to do a little cleaning in my organization. You do that. Aria has a job she needs doing. You up for some work? That depends on what Aria has in mind. Aria's gotten word that some blood packed mercs plan to kill an old acquaintance of hers, a Krogan named Patriarch. She'd like you to keep that from happening. Why come to me? Aria's usual muscle not up for the job? Because Arya said so. What other reason do you need? If Arya wants my help, she'd better tell me why. I'm not doing this for my help. Fine. Whatever gets you to take the job. If it gets out that Arya's protecting Patreon, well, that can look like a weakness. And some people might want to exploit that. You're not on a payroll, so you helping Patreon just seems like a random act of kindness. I'll look into it. Good. Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done, and you'll get your due. I'll be back when the job is Good done. Good luck. Pour me a drink. Hold the poison. Oh, yes. I heard about my predecessor's little scheme. I'm very glad you survived. I've been instructed to give you drinks on the house. Rest assured that they will contain no illicit ingredients you haven't asked for. Welcome to Afterlife. How may I serve you? I'll just have something to drink. Of course. Some people want you dead. Know anything about that? Well, I can think of a few. I know things. Old secrets, old grudges. A few floors you can dig up to find bodies underneath. And someone who wanted to weaken Aria might come after me. They do it to get to her, you see. Not for me. I don't matter enough anymore to have enemies of my own. Some people want you dead. I've been asked to move you to safety. Well, of course. Arya wouldn't want me hurt. It would make her look bad. But perhaps Arya's reputation is no longer my concern. Perhaps I will stay. See who thinks me important enough to kill. You allow Arya to protect you like you're her pet? I thought you were a Krogan. Aria let me live. She gave me a position of honor as her advisor. 
She gave you a position of comfort as her trophy. Is that what you want? Or would you rather go down fighting? I wish she killed me the day she beat me. That would have been a glorious death. But perhaps it is not too late to die well. Perhaps these assassins will remember my name. Farewell, human. Thank you. My old friend Patriarch died. Went out in a blaze of glory. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? I gave him what you could. The chance to die like a crow. That wasn't your decision to make. His life belonged to me. Patriarch was dead for centuries. You know that. How he was? I'd almost forgotten he was a Krogan. You gave him the death he deserved. You've done a lot for me, Shepard. Let me return the favor. We're sending your coordinates to a cache on an uncharted world. You want it? It's yours. What's the catch? No catch. I don't need it, and I don't want it to go to waste. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. We friendly enough to talk about who you were before, Omega? You're reaching back centuries, Shepard. Long before anything that should matter to you. So why keep it secret? No reason, from your perspective. But there are plenty of people out there with long memories. I've had a few careers, a few names. Commando training, mercenary leanings. I've kept what was valuable and dropped the baggage. I thought you were in charge. Why so scared of your past? I have nothing to fear on Omega. That doesn't mean I want to broadcast my past to the galaxy. You'd be surprised how long some entities can hold a grudge. This little exercise with Patriarch? A footnote. Not even the first Krogan I've pissed off. You couldn't have started here with nothing. You must have been someone important. I've always been important, even if others didn't recognize it. So yes, I had money to start this operation. I also had creditors who thought they were more entitled to it. I let them chase a ghost, or several. It's relatively easy to outlive a Solarian, but not their record keeping. You're important, but also isolated. No other allies out there to back you up? I lean toward a particular type of work. It tends to encourage professional rivalry. Sometimes you'd rather disappear than be forced to kill someone. All right, I'll drop it. Better luck next time. Sounds like you and Patriarch have a history. Our history is Omega's history. Long, bloody, and always ending in my favor. The details are complicated. When I arrived, Omega was lawless, a land of opportunity. I built alliances and destroyed the fools who wouldn't get in line, which was most of them. But Patriarch was something different. A powerful friend. I assume you decided he was too strong, even as an ally? No. He cast the first stone. Wasn't a surprise when he turned. 
He controlled the muscle. My people contributed more subtle action. Espionage, politics, assassination. Fortunately for me, his men had become accustomed to certain benefits of working with Asari. Sounds like you changed the rules and the battlefield. Krogan nature made it easy for us to take advantage. The drive to breed almost won us the galaxy. Lying with Asari. Pointless. Patriarch's men abandoned him in droves. In the end, we fought face to face on this very spot. The toughest fight of my life. But of course I won. Patriarch doesn't sound like something an Asari would come up with. I found it humorous. He wanted power. And we pretended he had it with a word that doesn't exist for my people. I eventually found a certain respect for the title and the man. So you kept him around as a trophy? I did. A trophy and an example. Whenever someone thought about taking me on, I pointed them to Patriarch. I suppose I still can. Interesting, but let's move on. Do you need something else? Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. Why don't you find a nice girl to keep you warm in the meantime? I was hoping you'd come by. I'm Ish, and this is Cell. You look like a good person to know. I can see you're trying to flatter me. Don't. Of, of course. Forgive me. You just made me nervous, is all. I heard you talking about it. What do you want? Please, please. We're all friends here. There's no need for language of that sort. I need skilled, trustworthy people to take care of a little business for me. Nothing illegal, of course, but it's paying work. What kind of business do you do? Important business. So important that, with your help, we can change Omega. What do you mean, we can change Omega? Well, I didn't want to say anything, but certain people here have business deals with people throughout the galaxy. If we were to have information involving those deals, we could make some ripples around here. That's all I'll say. I'm listening. I'm in the information business. Specifically, the buying and selling of privileged material. It's nothing illicit. I just need someone to pick up packages in certain locations and bring them to me here. What's your angle? No angle. I'm a simple businessman. What do you say? I can do that. My contacts use specific drop points. I need you to look outside Marib's shop on the Citadel and inside Eternity on Ilium. Look around for anything that might hold a data package, and bring those packages to me. Good luck, my friend. Humans! A blight on galactic fury! Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? I have things to do. Courteously, have a friend. You're back. You must have seen something you like. Check out Afterlife's main floor. You'll like it. What do you want? 
I'd like to join the party. This really isn't your kind of place. After the brought a nice kid like you to Omega. My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. Why does Harrod control your prices? Harrod made me swear not to undercut him, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. But no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. I can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. I could go talk to Herrick for you. Get him to ease up. I won't stop you. If you can convince him to lay off, then maybe I'll get off this station after all. His shop's up the ramp, near where Marsh sells his goods. Anything you can do will be much appreciated. I have to go. Please check with my kiosks. Excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? Tell me about your deal with the Quarian over there. Suspicious. If I had made such a deal, I would certainly not be inclined to discuss it. Accusatory. I don't understand how it is any concern of yours. If you're worried about competition, why not just buy out a store? Intrigued. I had not considered that before. My fellow merchants on Omega are not known for being easy to shut down. A weak, homesick kid like that shouldn't be a problem for a man like you. Devilishly excited. I have plans to expand. On your advice, I will conquer the Quarian Child. Grateful to thank you for your counsel. I offer you a discount at all of my stores. I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything.
Launched. In research projects, Element Zero is used for bioamp and omni tool upgrades, which allow squad members who have biotic and tech launches to be much more effective. Launching probe. Launching probe. Switch up! Incineration tech. Right on your ass. Going to explode.
should burn through any armor.
bumped into Zaid recently. Quite the character. Given how much violence and destruction that man's seen, he's surprisingly well-adjusted. Still, I wouldn't want to be alone with him. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the Elusive Man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. How do you feel about being assigned to I the was hand at But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. I'll keep you notified of any messages, or if any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound? Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. I don't need you analyzing me, Yeoman. Yes, sir. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Yes, Commander. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion 5 poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The Commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. You know, beating your superior officer at poker would be a bad career move. Uh, yeah? Okay. Nice playing, Commander. Shepard's teasing really threw you off. You mean that pulling blank shit wasn't serious? Man, I can't believe I fell for that. Me, me at my own game. You're all right, Shepard. I got thoughts, like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes? We've got work to do. Get to the point. I work for you, and you work for Cerberus. They're in my face all the time. This is gonna make me crazy. Crazier. Your pal, the elusive man? Never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some superbiotic. The doctors. The other kids. Every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. There were other children in the base? I didn't know much about them. I was kept separate. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I showed them. But there's a loose end I need to deal with. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers and how it might clear the way for a more biotic power. 
I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't gonna see it. I was wired up in a cell. You love the power they gave you. They never gave me a choice. They tortured you just to see if they could make a strong biotic? That's it? Wasn't in a position to ask, Shepard. All I know is... a little girl crying in a cell. Begging for the pain to stop. How did you get out of there? There was some kind of emergency and I made a break for it. The other kids came out of their cells and attacked me. So did the guards. I just killed everything in my way and ran. Guess my biotics had developed faster than they thought. I managed to get a shuttle off the ground. Drifted until a freighter picked me up. The crew used me, then sold me. That's my uplifting escape story. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility? I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. Sounds like they've done a serious 180 since those days. I'm not trying to convince you of something, Shepard. I don't care what they're doing now. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragia, where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place, my cell. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. I'll set a course for Pragia. I owe you, Shepard. What can we do for you, Commander? Where did you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance serving... She flew the in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Carry on. Will do, Commander. Shepard? Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. The hold is too open. Not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Granth would target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships, anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this, picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. What other human info was floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Salarians, Asari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Turians, you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. <laughs> uh, never mind. Something must move you. You're as genetically Krogan as you can get. I see suffering, the dead, and I think, weak. I'm supposed to be strong. My guts were grown from thousands more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak. Pitiful. You are the perfect Krogan. Can you live up to that? Or will this crap drag you down? I was built to be the strongest. But maybe weak moments inspire. That seems strange. I need to think. But I am still strong. Say the word and your enemies die. That's enough for you. What's this area of the ship? Normandy's car. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. 
I goaded Gizark into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood-packed bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept the helmet to remind me of that pained expression. Hey, don't touch. That rifle's older than you are. I call it Jesse. That's my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillian Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. Oh yeah, that's a model of the Varakan. Turian frigate. Oh shit. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died but me. So I made out like a bandit. My first impossible mission. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn as Turian warship crash. What's this area of the ship? Normandy's cargo deck. It includes facilities to rearm and repair Normandy's embarked ground vehicle and Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah, he's taking it pretty hard. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. What's going on? My father was extremely wealthy. He wanted the ideal daughter, and he paid a great deal to genetically tailor me. When I learned that my father was more interested in controlling a dynasty than raising a daughter, I left. How did your father take that? He was less than pleased. Several of his security guards were injured in the process. He knows not to come after me. But this isn't about me. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe, until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. So why are you sharing the family history with me? My father's agents have been searching for my sister for years. I believe they've tracked her to Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nose Astra docking bay.
What's this area of the ship? This is the commander. It's larger than the quarters of other warships I've served on. This is a Cerberus vessel, not an Alliance warship. Accommodations have been made for personal taste. That said, this space is directly under the exterior pressure hull. The fitting yard workers called it the loft. 